So let's let's say that Steph ends with four thousand over four thousand, and that record is unbreakable. Yeah. Do you think once he once it's all said and done, do you think Stephen Curry has a case to be considered a goat? Here's my here's his resume right now: three rings, two MVPs, seven All Stars. He's on the seventy fifth team, seven time All NBA, career twenty four point per game, forty three percent three point field percentage in his entire career. Add probably three more All Stars, three more All NBA teams. I don't think they're going to win a championship. Yeah. Maybe he might win MVP this year. The only thing that I would say he doesn't have on all the other guys is three pointers, or not three pointers, is the championships. I would say because he has one less than LeBron, three less than Jordan, and two less than Kobe. Look, personally for me, I would say he would not be a goat. I would, yeah, but I would that's say that because too. I consider like if you're going to be in the goat conversation, you would have to be a top five player for me. Like, yeah, because if you think about, it, you can't that's fair. you can't have a player that's like. I don't know, like, just throwing it out there, like, 15th best all-time or something, mm-hmm. and be like, oh, yeah, you can make a GOAT case. No, the GOAT's the number one. You can't yeah. make a GOAT case for someone that's not in the top ten. Yeah. No, I I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't think – I don't I, – I wouldn't consider him to be – But I think I think goat. once it's all said and done, I think he can be on, even, on even when it's the said and done. fringe, like – in some people's minds, he could be up in that top three. Well, in some people's minds, yeah. Well, that really I mean, just depends on what you think. Yeah, you it's know, personal preference, exactly. opinion. It's always I how think, it's going to be. I think um, I I don't think he is. I think he is the best shooter of all time. Yes, and he, 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 will, and he is he one of the best players of all time. Yes, I think that's that's insane. I mean, like, what, like, like, I mean like, what do you say? I mean, he's he's got to be one of the best players. Yeah. Of all time. Like, like when it's all said and done, yeah. probably at least top. But 10. I'm It'll be top ten. Well, I, but he is not. <laughs> Like be tough. the best, like in my yeah. mind, in my mind, when you say goat, that is the best player. Yeah, that it's, is the best player of all time. I do not think Curry is the best player of all time. Right. I think he is one of the best players of all time. Mm-hmm. He will be a Hall of Famer. He is the best shooter of all time. Yeah, he's the greatest of all time at how he plays. No one's ever played like that. No, That's yeah, good. I think I think he, um, I think he will be in the top ten. Yeah, yeah. I think I think, I, I think of all time players, he will be in the top ten. But I do not think he. You will think, compete for the best basketball player ever. Yeah, I, I would agree. You think he'll pass Magic? Magic? I or think, did he already pass Magic? I don't think he has yet, but I think I think you can make a very, very solid case that he's the greatest point guard of all time. Yeah, I, I think and, by and, the end of his I career... Think, I, I think I would say that. I think, can, I think he is the best me. point guard of all time. You can easily convince me that to put him over Magic. I yeah. can easily be convinced. Because if you think about it, the, when Curry, Curry completely Curry changed revolution- the game... Curry yeah. revolutionized... He revolutionized yeah, the game. He, he changed right. the game of basketball. Yeah, like, like now I mean, everybody, like, like the three point percentage and the amount of attempts since that 2015 season, where he kind insane. of went up, is mm-hmm. gone up tremendously. Yeah. And then you have guys and like Trey not, Young, who like literally grew up his, his favorite player stuff. Curry, he modeled his game after Steph Curry, and like you said, trying to model their game. After which granted, people, people did with Magic and all those right. guys. But, it's different though because, like, I feel like Curry's style of basketball was much different than yes. Than well, the Curry norm inspired, of basketball. I feel like Curry inspired much more of a younger generation. He did. Because <clears throat> that style of basketball is not going anywhere. Like, no. as you see, like, kids playing and stuff, like, you just shoot threes. Like, that's yeah, all they people chuck do. It. Yeah. I mean, like, and now I, that might that might not be the that best. That might not be good. That might not be the best, like, style of basketball. Going. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, well, I think, I don't know. I think I think it might be interesting, you know, with with – how Curry changed the NBA and how it kind of has went to like more of a just chuck it type of game and stuff like that. I think it'll be kind of interesting if you get and I, and I think the Bucks kind of are like that a little bit. If you get a team in there that has like like some nasty like big guys, right. yeah, you know, like like yeah, if, guys, if guys Warriors, that aren't great shooters, but they are nasty and they are like big and strong in the post and they're yeah, athletic. They won the finals, yeah. if, like they they are big, strong, like, tall, like athletic guys, yeah. like that, that that can shoot. You know, moderate, moderate field goals, yeah. and are good in the post, but not great three point shooters. Mm-hmm. I think it'd be interesting to see if you get a team like that. You know, like yeah. the Bucks. You know, because because the Bucks have like a, I mean, they they got some guys that can shoot threes too. Yeah, right? obviously, they, they, they're a balanced team. I would say. So that's what I'm saying. I think I think it's interesting if but, you get a team like that. You know, yeah. it, in the age of basketball, it everybody just you know, harden because you get used to all the place and chuck it. You, you get know, used like, to seeing the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's just something different. I, you know, I do think like you're saying. And how you were saying as well, how the game has like been more three three point oriented. But with Giannis, he 
very rarely shoots threes. Yeah. He and he still makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah, he still makes a big difference. And then you also have guys like like Zion. When he's playing, he doesn't shoot many threes. Difference maker. Ben mm-hmm. Ben Simmons, obviously not right now, but at his Ben wasn't that the dude last year? Yes, like, yes, yes. <laughs> but but at his at his peak at his at his peak when he was doing he was doing when good. he was doing good he yeah. was not shooting threes and he was making a difference on the court. Yeah. So I don't think in it's this not plus like the I feel like the arrow of centers is back as well. Like you were saying, just a big man that can like. I know there's obviously well, like think, shooting okay, centers, here, but there's here's guys what more. I'm, here's what I'm saying about like, when, when I say big man like that. I don't mean some big honking fat dude. No, I know that. I know. You're that talking is, about. That, that just like post dudes up and sets screens. Like, no, that's not I know you're I'm, talking, I'm about, talking about like a Giannis type Giannis, yeah. yeah. I mean like a. Like a, just an athletic like freak a big, that doesn't need. A big need. like tall dude that is like very strong but very athletic. Evan yeah. Mobley. Like a guy that moves. Yes, like Evan Mobley. If he puts weight on Evan Mobley. He could still shoot a little bit, but yeah. And then you, think, have, you have up and I, coming I think Giannis guys. Giannis or a little bit bigger and stronger than Giannis is what I was saying. Yeah. Like guys like that, you know, like not not some just massive fat dude right. that no, is just good no. at setting screens and like destroying people in the yeah. post because yeah. it's just fat. Like that's not. Yeah. Like, but if because because if you if you have guys like that, it's a like, fast paced game. That can't exactly. exactly. Yeah. If you yeah. have guys that are just massive fat dudes down there, like <laughs> they, like they, they can't like get back and play defense because yeah. right. that that's the thing with like having a big dude like that is that nowadays with the game being so shooter oriented and stuff, yeah. these big dudes have to be able to move and play yeah. defense, yeah. which is why I'm saying like Giannis is, they also would, would be like just, a, with the five out offenses and stuff. They can't just. Like set up camp in the paint. Exactly. Yes. So, they, yeah. Yeah. Like th- that's why I say a, a guy like Giannis, or you know, maybe a little bit bigger and stronger. I mean, Giannis is insane, but like, just uh, I think a little bit bigger is about as big as I would say. You know, but I I, I think that'd be interesting. You know, <laughs> I do I do find it interesting how the number one like prospect in in this year's uh, like class, um, Paolo Banchero, he doesn't shoot many threes. He's a power forward. He not at the like, yeah. he's not like Giannis. But he's six ten, big dude, mm-hmm. very athletic. He's not at the same like build as Giannis because there's right. only one Giannis. But and then and then you that. see like Chet Holmgren, who lengthy center shoots a bunch of threes. He's he's fallen to like the second. He was the unanimous guy first, but now he's the second because yeah. I just feel like a couple people. It's nice to have a change of. Of players, yeah, like, that, that, that's what I was saying. Not it's, having, it's nice. It, it would be nice, and it would be a little interesting to see a change. Which I think it's, know? I think it's getting there. I think it used to be like fully perimeter oriented, but I think it's getting, it's still perimeter oriented. Mm-hmm. But I think it's getting a little bit more to if you can't shoot threes, you can still make a big difference exactly. on the court. Which so I, I, I was happy the Bucks won last year. I yeah. think, I, I think the Bucks are are very good, it's solid all yeah. around team. You know, yeah, no, I agree. But then you have but, like, however, it is very fun watching. Curry and the Warriors yes. just chucking these threes yes. on the other side when, of the court. When it, when it, like, I mean, that's that's pretty. Yeah. Sweet. When it's working, it's fun. When it's not working, it's a bit ugly. Well, yeah. See, that's that's the thing with the Warriors is because you live um, or die, you live or die by the three. Yes, right. you are. If you're on, you're going to win by a million. If you're off, you're going to lose by like thirty. Yeah. You know, it's like I mean, it's it's um, it's well, yeah. like you said. I mean, you, you live or die by the three. You know. Right. So I mean. But the thing with Curry is most of the time he's on, so it's yeah, more, he's nor- very nor- rarely. Off. Normally it's okay, but there are occasional times when he's just it's it's rough. Yeah, <laughs> what blows me away is that Curry keeps getting that like he keeps he yeah, keeps that improving. That's, that's what that's what's crazy about him is he improves yeah. every season. Well, like every year he gets better at playing and better at shooting. It's like I, how how can you possibly right. get better? What I've noticed is he constantly breaks his three point. Per, like the three pointers, per yeah. season he's breaking his season. own record. Yeah, right. That's straight. what I mean. That's why I don't think anyone's coming close to the record anytime soon. Because oh, no. nobody that currently plays will break that record. Right. Because the thing is, is no one can hit the amount of threes he's going to hit this year. Yeah, in mm-hmm. a season. Yeah. But then, I mean, I'm just guessing, but it seems like he's doing it every year. Next season, he hits more. <laughs> yeah. No one can hit that either. So it's just like he's yeah. just going to keep putting distance between yeah. himself I mean, and but other people. The only thing I was saying though is that at some point in at, at some point in right. the game it's, of it's the NBA, happen. it'll happen. It will like somebody happen. will come yeah. along at some point and probably break this record, and yeah. it will be insane. Records are made to be broke. That's just how it is. Yeah. But right. right now, there is nobody, there, nobody that plays right now is going to break that record. Yeah. Yeah. That is just an outrageous record. I mean, yeah. what what he does year in and year out. I mean, every record is going to get broken. Very eventually. special. Yeah. yeah. I don't actually. I don't, I don't. I don't know. Wilt. 
I don't know. I don't know if anyone will score the on hundred point. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think. Well, I think that, I, I think it'll I mean, be it, quite a quite Kobe, a Kobe well, came. Kobe came. Yeah, Kobe 80, came. Eighty two. Eighty one. Eighty one. Eighty one. Yeah. I think it'll be quite a while until somebody touches Curry's record. It'll yeah, be quite it a while, yeah. but at some point, it's it's. The thing though is, if you're gonna point. with Curry's longevity. And the amount, like he still has more to go. I feel exactly. like I feel like you would have to almost be drafted as a rookie and immediately, immediately be recognized, come in and, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. like immediately be recognized what, as like. All right, at some point, insane. somebody will probably do that. I'm yeah. sure. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, because you know what I was saying was is just you know like with Ray Allen, you know, when he was playing and setting all these records and stuff, everybody thought the same thing. Like, right. oh, nobody's going to break this. You know, Curry comes along twenty years later or whatever, some and he's doing Davidson something. Comes along exactly. Like, you know, destroys. so it's like. Yeah. Or, or like with Michael Jordan, you know, when, when he was playing, it was like, this dude is just insane. You know, nobody's going to ever be as good as him. Well, now, now you have LeBron. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, people argue he's he's just as good, if not better. So Yeah, it seems know, like basketball it, it happens, players you know? are just evolving. Yes. Well, it, ha- it, it happens in every sport, you know. It's like, you know, like when, when Joe Montana was considered the GOAT, it's like nobody's ever going to touch him. Brady comes along, and now he's yeah. the GOAT. I mean, you know, it's, it, it yeah. happens in every sport, you know. People are only getting better at sports. Cause exactly. Like, yeah. If you think about it, like, dude, back in the day, you would see, like, a couple college dunks every now and then, and now like your it's average, like your average lot. middle yeah. school, high school game is like three sixty windmills. Like, yeah. like you look yeah. on Instagram, yeah. like, what is this, bro? I know yeah. it's it's uh, the stuff that these some of these guys can do in high school basketball is just insane. Yeah, I mean, man. it's just unreal. Yeah. I mean, going back on what you're saying, how Steph he improves every season. Mm-hmm. Looking at his 2014 season, which is when he first was an All Star, he averaged 24 points. 2015 season, 24 points. 2016. 30, 17, 25, 18, 26, 19, 27, and then last 20, he was hurt. 21, 32, and this year, 27. Yeah. So he's gone up in points per game at least one every season since he, since he broke out. Mm-hmm. And, and he's hitting more threes. He's hitting more threes. Yeah. He's uh, he's fourth in the league in scoring right now, correct? Uh, I think he's up there. Yeah. I, I don't know ex- exactly. but I looked. He's fourth behind KD, Jason Tatum, and Trey Young. Jason Tatum's up there? It said that he is okay. second. Hey. You can check it out. That's no, I'm, 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 I'm sure you're right. I, yeah. I, it just surprises me. Yeah. I mean, um, it surprised me, too. I can't, I can't believe with the amount of threes he's hitting this year. I can't yeah, believe he's well, no, Steph's uh-huh. arguably been, like, the best player in the NBA. Him, yeah. and, him and KD are in, up for MVP. Yeah, I but what I think is Curry. What I think yeah, is I even <laughs> more impressive that he's doing this year is he went from a team last year that barely made – they they the were they're in the play they're in the play in they're in the play in and they lost to the Grizzlies and the Grizzlies made it into the eight seed. To this year, they're the best. They had the best record. They in, have lost six games. They have the best record in the NBA and they're currently <laughs> the they're, they're currently twenty four and six and they're second in the West. Mm-hmm. Who's first? Uh, I oh, think it's the Suns. Okay, I was gonna say because they were only eighteen. The Warriors did beat the Suns though. Yes, they yeah. did. Yeah. Um, and I think that's also that's a testament to Steph Curry, but I also think the supporting cast of the Warriors have also stepped in a lot, like Jordan Poole. Yes, their supporting cast. Jordan has Poole has been up phenomenal. Big time. Uh, Gar- Gary Payton year. the third has been phenomenal. Um, and here's what's crazy: when their guys come back. Oh. Yeah, they, well, Cl- James, when, when Clay Thompson Wise, comes back, James Wiseman and yeah, Clay and Thompson Wiseman, yeah. haven't played this year. I think Clay is coming back in Clay's January. Coming back in January, and I don't know when. Uh, well, I don't know Wiseman's timetable. But you had a starting lineup of Curry, Poole, um, Clay, Clay, Draymond, Draymond and Wiseman. Wiseman. I that's that that's a contender. That's that a is nasty. That's a contender. I mean. And teams are triple teaming Curry right now. Exactly. Yeah. Have you seen some of those, and Clay have you seen some of those is all, pictures? That, that is the thing that's so insane about the Warriors. They literally have two of the best shooters of all time. Curry is the best shooter of all time. Clay Thompson, I think, could be considered he's in the conversation. He's one of the best. One of the best shooters he's one of the best catch and shoot. Catch and shoot. This man scored what was it? Fifty some odd points you know, while like only dribbling dribbles. four <laughs> times. He took four dribbles. In an entire game and scored fifty over fifty points. Yeah, yeah. Like what? That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, Clay is. Clay, I, I, I think Clay Thompson is one of the best shooters of all time. Curry is the best. I would yes. say the only person Clay Thompson's probably up there. Okay, I, I don't know about shooters all time. Like I would have to think about it for a minute. But like catch and shoot players, I'd say he's only behind Ray Allen. Yeah, I, I would put Ray. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, well, what, 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 what hurts him? Gotta be what Curry, hurts him? Allen, I mean, I, I, I think Clay's up there. Though. It also yeah. hurts him that he hasn't played in the last two years. That yeah. hurts him a lot. Oh, that's, that's two years yeah, of that, stats that is just that's, not there. Yeah, that really. Well, I mean, you got to remember. What well, it hurt the Warriors too. If you look at the Warriors last year, um, Steph Curry was literally putting that team on his back. Yeah, he averaged thirty-two. That, that team, I'm the Warriors sure last the year, the Warriors last year was literally just Curry. 
the entire season, he put them on his back the entire year. And now this year, they have got a team back. They've got a supporting cast back, and look what they're doing. 